Hello everybody, welcome back to Toy Stew. Well, as you can tell by the thumbnail, trying to figure out what's wrong with Ben. You might have noticed he hadn't been able to compete in the last couple of competitions he's been requested for. So I took him all apart. Comes in several pieces. Got four screws in the bottom. And then there's another screw here somewhere. There it is, five screws total. That last screw keeps the motor onto the chassis, chassis part. So anyways, I got him apart. There's the motor. There's all the little gears. The on and off switch. And I'll put the battery in. And you can hear him running. See the gears moving. So he's running okay. Maybe a little bit loud. But <laughs> he's running alright. So that wasn't the problem. So the next thing to check is the gears on the actual uh, axle. So the gears inside the motor. Turn the gear on the axle. And this gear on the axle is not supposed to move without also moving these wheels. So as you can tell, the gears are moving freely. And all this should all this should move at the same time. So what's happened is over time, this has just gotten loose. And there's two little parts here. There's the actual gear. Then there's a little uh I call it an escapement. And that's if it gets caught in hair or if, the, if it just gets stuck somewhere, it'll start, this will, this gear will slip out. And it, if it did get caught in hair, it wouldn't pull it out of your head. <laughs> so that's kind of the, it's a safety, safety measure they put in. A lot of toys that have moving parts. So if something did happen to get caught in there, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be too painful. So these have come loose. And on the, this happened to Arthur. And what I ended up doing with his axle gear was gluing it back in. And I had to do it a couple of times, and he seems to be working all right. But this one is a little bit different because there's not a, really a good place to get that glue in there without it all being squeezed out. The Arthur axle had a little uh, groove in it, and you could get some glue down in there and then put the gear back on. So what I've decided to do is order not another bin, but another engine. It's actually another bill. And I'm just going to change out this, this back, wheels, back wheels and axle assembly. So hopefully the one I have on order, this is not going to be the problem. <laughs> you never know when you buy something used if you might encounter the same problem again. But I thought you might enjoy. Let's put this back together. And I'll show you how it goes. So this is the bottom of the engine. The chassis, as I call it. I think that's the correct name. So we get all the wheels back in place. Then there's a little tab right there. Tab on the motor housing. A little space for it in the chassis. You make sure that's hooked in. Get his wheels back in place there. And it's a little bit fiddly. You just gotta take your time. Do, 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 do. All right, something's caught up here. Let's try this again. Oh, Mr. Ben, being fiddly. And this is a Tony. Not sure why. That's, maybe I got this backwards. That's what happened. All right, here we go. So the gear... Goes on that side. <laughs> I think. I think that was the problem. Okay, I got it. I had to get close up in there. And I just needed to put a little more pressure on it and snap it down. Okay. So we got the motor, the battery, the chassis, the wheels back in place. There's a screw. If I can get enough light on this. It's a screw that goes right here in the back. And luckily, all these screws are the same size. There we go. Lost my battery. So I'll show you what happens. How you can tell if this is the problem. You can put your finger on there and it's... It shouldn't be stopping that fast. 
That's the usual giveaway that it's that axle gear. It's slipping. Let's get this part of his body back on. There we go. We can take the battery out, I guess. And we got four screws, one in each corner. Get that corner. Now the engine I ordered is not a Tomy, but I'm pretty certain it's going to be okay. Now look, there's look through the engines I had, and Peter Sam and Reneas also used the same same engine. But the best bill I found was on a used bill, so Bill is really going to be helping Ben out. <laughs> oh boy, I forgot to put the coupler on there. Let's see if I can do it with just loosening these back ones. Of course, I'm going to have to take this all back apart again, so. There we go. Now we got the coupler in. You can screw everything down tight. Just kind of showing you guys this as it's the reverse process of when you take him apart. I'm put the battery in. So I'll give you a comparison of Bill. So he's, he keeps going. So his axle gear is doing fine. Peter Sam, he's doing good. So what I was trying to, when I was looking online to order these, I wanted to make sure that, so I was looking at the Peter Sam's, and you see how he has that hole right there in his wheel, which is, would fit this connecting rod. So I wanted to make sure it was a black wheel with a hole for the connecting rod. So Peter Sam had one, Reneas has one, but the best deal I found was a bill. So of course he's going to have one. So that's what it did. Get his boiler and his saddle tank and screw him in. So that's how to put a bin together in reverse. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so it's going to be probably a week. And then I'll come back with another video. And hopefully the one I get won't have the same problem. If I do, I'll have to start all over again. Oh, boy. And I tried to find a Mattel bin to just totally replace it. But I could not find one that uh, it was a good enough deal. So we'll just put a, wait for this bill to come in and I'll replace these wheels and the axle. It should be good to go. So if y'all are gonna request Ben, you might wanna put that off or replace it with Bill or another engine because Bill is out of commission until we get him fixed up. All right, well that's what's wrong with Ben. His axle gears were a little bit stripped and messed up and we're gonna get all that fixed up in the next week. And he'll be good to go, good as new. I have to get a little magic marker for his eye there. <laughs> That's no big deal. All right, well, thank you guys so much for joining us here on Toy Steve. Be sure and share, subscribe, comment, request, and of course, bing, bang, bang, thumbs up. All right, well, you guys take care. We'll see you next time.